Hello there, welcome to Nod University Short Lectures. In this lecture, I will be talking about differences between browser, JavaScript, and Node.js. You all know it's both JavaScript, but they're not triple equals. They're not absolutely equal to each other. What are the differences? What are some main differences? So let's start with a window. Window in a browser, it totally makes sense. It's something that you can attach properties, you can create your singleton pattern by exposing a namespace, exposing a class or an object, such as when you import a library. Well, guess what? In Node.js, we don't have browsers, we don't have windows, so there is no window. There is also no document, because there is no document object model, there is no DOM, there is no hierarchy of elements, there is nothing to render. So there is no window, there is no document, what is out there in terms of the global objects? Well, we have global. Global spells with a lower case, and uh, it's available to you in any node environment, in any node file, in any node application. That global object, you can create a new property on it, but it also has some built-in properties, which are also becomes global. For example, process. Process, module.exports require set timeout, set interval. They're all global properties on that global object. They are available to you anywhere. Now, what else is available to you? You have core modules. In JavaScript, you have some built-in modules in the browsers, but there is no core modules. In Node.js, you have more freedom. You have more access to your OS, to your environment to your file system, so you have all those modules to work with them. You have crypto module, you have net module, which allows you to build servers and clients. You have HTTP, which is a TCP IP module, it's built on top of the net module. You have FS, it's a file system module, so you can create a file, read from a file. So overall, Node.js gives you a lot of power. It comes with batteries included, it has core modules, it doesn't have window and document, but it has many, many other globals to give you that control. And also module, you can you have modules natively in Node.js. So that's it for this episode. I'll see you in the next one.